Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In the second session of my training video, I had covered the training till styles. To watch my other sessions of training video, I have left the link in the description box below. Or you can click on cards about to access it. Now let me start the third session of training and the next topic is cells. So the next option is insert cell delete cell format let me add a data think that if you would like to add a cell between these two you can do it by clicking on that option now if you want to delete this blank cell you can do that not only uh, deleting a blank cell can also delete the cell which has a data in it. Next option is format. Format is nothing but if you want to increase the row height you can do that. I will show you how to increase the row height now. Row is nothing but I taught you about this initially right. Row is this, column is this. So right now the row height is this much. If you want to increase it you can do it by clicking on this option now the default row height is in 15 if you want to change it to 20 you can do it so likewise not only from there you can do it from here as well come here to this row and right click on that and here you can find the option called row height where you can change the height of the row let me change it back to 15 so next is in that format option we have auto fit row height so I will change this row height manually either you can do it like you can go here and change the row height or you can come here and right click and change the size row height or you can manually pull the row height by clicking and holding this option and pulling it down will change the row height for you now there is an option called auto fit row height so to auto fit this row back to its old row height means the default row height all you have to do is click on this entire row and click on auto fit row height so that will bring back your row to default row height or else you can also do like this come back here and as soon as you get this option double click on it and it will move it back to the old row height let me check what we have in the next option next is column width column width is also the same thing uh, if you right click on that you'll get column width if you want to change it you can change it to whichever width you want or you can manually pull it or if you want you can do it from here column width click on it change it to whichever numbers you want and auto fit again click on it it will bring back right now the reason it did not go to the default size you can see all of the columns are in the default size reason this did not go to uh, default size is because it automatically matched to the data what we have inside the cell next option is hide and unhide so uh, it's it's very simple you can see um, hide rows hide columns hide sheet unhide rows unhide columns so it's very simple all you can do is if you want to hide this row you can hide it by right clicking here and click on that it's called hide if you want to unhide select the G you can see the option here right so right after G there is a row hidden here and next is I so if you select both this columns and right click on them you'll get unhide option and click on unhide they will be visible now so in the same way you can do the same thing uh, here by selecting this option right now I showed you that feature by right clicking 
on that particular column. So the same way if you want to hide this row, you can do that, hide, you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4 is missing, 5, 6, 7 you can see. All you have to do is select 2, select 5, right click and hide. So it will again show you that row number 3 and 4. Now the next option is hide sheet. So you can do that if you want to, uh, sheets are here at the bottom. So if you want to hide the sheet one, you can do that again. Same thing can be done by right clicking on the sheet. Click on hide option. See, you don't see that sheet one at all right now. All you see is sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. Now again, to get back the sheet one, all you have to do is right click on sheet two and you will see an option called unhide. So once you click on that, you will get an option unhide sheet. Right now the sheet 1 is hidden, that's why it's showing sheet 1 uh, in this uh, cell. Uh, so you have to select it and click OK and you can see sheet 1 is back. So if you want to hide multiple sheet, you can do that. Um, click on sheet 1, press Ctrl on your keyboard and click on sheet 2, click on sheet 3. Now right click on um, those sheets and click on hide you can see we right now we only have sheet number four how to unhide it so again do the same thing right click on sheet number four and select unhide now we will get multiple option because uh, last time I only selected sheet one right now uh, I have selected uh, uh, she three sheets so if you want to unhide them on sheet one unhide again to unhide sorry rest of the sheets do the same thing yeah you can see now you can see all the sheets are back what else we have the next option is rename sheet I will show you all these options by right clicking on that particular uh, you know, thing. So instead of coming here and doing stuff, you can do that right click of your mouse. Next is rename sheet or copy sheet. Yep, yeah, and tap color. Rename sheet is the right now the sheet name is sheet one. So if you want to rename that, all you have to do is right click. You will find an option called rename. Now you can type whatever you want. I'll type my name there so it has been renamed now instead of right clicking and going and finding a rename option there all you can do is come to the sheet click on that sheet and now double click on that see it will automatically give you the option to change the name next option is move or copy sheet right click on that more copy sheet if you want to copy create a copy of this particular sheet Rajesh you can do that copy and select OK you can see that copy has been created that is the reason Rajesh 2 we have here so let me delete that okay let me go back and show you one more option move or copy sheet think that you want to uh, copy this tab to some other Excel you can you can do that uh, by clicking this option right now I have not opened any other uh, Excel apart from this uh, book one that is the reason it's not showing me any uh, Excel here so if you have opened uh, the desired Excel where you want to you know copy this particular sheet from here to uh, that workbook uh, you can do that so by clicking on this drop down um, you will get that option you can select that uh, workbook name and uh, whichever sheet you want you can select that sheet if you don't click on this create a copy what happens after selecting this if you click OK that particular sheet will be moved automatically to that workbook so we have two types of option one you can move it or one you can create a copy so dif the difference between moving the sheet and uh, create a copy is if you move it you lose that sheet in this particular 
workbook and it will be moved to that uh, the desired workbook which you are planning to move it so if you are planning to uh, just copy that particular sheet to that workbook and to and you want to retain um, the sheet in the original workbook all you have to do is click on this option create a copy and then select whichever workbook you want and click OK so at that moment it just copies that particular sheet to that new workbook next is tab colors you can color this you can see uh, different type you can see it was colored in red if you want to color this green you can do it see if you want to color stuff you can do it whichever color you want so that is called as tab colors next is product sheet so if you want to protect a sheet uh, then you can do it by selecting selecting this option or you can as usual right click we have a product sheet option here add a password whatever password you want and you can check all the stuff here you now checking this will restrict people in formatting the sheet so there are a lot of uh, options here format cells you are uh, you don't want people to format the cell format the column format the row insert row uh, insert column hyperlink delete row delete column they won't be able to do anything with this sheet if you protect it from password let me add a password to it and click ok it is asking for me to re-enter the password let me re-enter it click ok now this particular sheet is protected if I want to delete it it won't allow me to delete you can see it's, go it's, it's going to give me a caution that the cell or chat you are trying to change is on protected sheet to make a change unprotect the sheet you might be requested to enter a password so if I have to do any sort of uh, deletion or formatting I won't be able to do it see I cannot delete it here again it gives me the caution so if I have to do editing again I have to go back and right click on that and you'll get an option unprotect sheet so now we have to enter the password let me enter the password if I click OK now the sheet is unprotected see? Now it is back to product sheet so that means the sheet is unprotected now if I want to delete it I can delete it uh, see if I want to delete I can delete I can do whatever I want right now and uh, the next option here is auto sum uh, average I will I will teach you all these things uh, as I move on with my training that's all I have for the session thank you so much for your patience and your time please do not forget to like this video subscribe and click on that bell icon once again thanks so much see you in the next video